Now, in the chapter of basic algebra and manipulation, let's take a look at checkpoint 4.3a. Okay, now this question is telling you to explain and simplify the following expressions. So, let's take a look at the first part. Okay, I have 2 over 5 multiplied by 15x minus 20y. So, when you multiply it this way, okay, you just need to... You just need to do your rainbow method. Okay, so what do you have over here? You would have a 6x multiplied by a 8y. Okay, so then you are asked to simplify, right? So please only simplify this if the question actually states so. So you take out the common factor over here, which is 2, to give you 3x minus 4y. Now, what is a common mistake that students always make? Now, please leave this. Do not cancel it. Okay, so leave this. This is the correct way. Now, what's the wrong way? Students will give your answer like that. Okay, you'll give your answer as 3x minus 4y because you'll think that, oh, okay, you know, x, 2 is a common factor, let's remove this. No, that is wrong. Okay, so please remember, this is the correct answer. Now, let's take a look at part B. Okay, so same method, all right, just multiply it inside, multiply it inside. Now, what is the unique part about this question is that whenever you have a negative sign in front of this bracket, okay, so can you see the bracket here? Alright, what do you need to take note? You need to change the sign of the, uh, change the sign inside the bracket. Okay, so what am I actually trying to tell you is that once you expand out, you have 6a minus away 4b minus away 3a plus 6b. So this is the change. Okay, now, does the numbers, does the sign here change? No. Okay, it remains as the same thing. Alright, as for what you have over here. So therefore, once you're done, combine the common terms. Okay, then you would have 3a, 6a, negative 4b, and 6b. Alright, so you should eventually have a 3a plus 2b. Is there a common factor? No. So you're done. Okay, then let's take a look at, let's take a look at part C. Okay, now C, again, you will expand. But this time around, because you have a lot of different kind of brackets. So what do you do? You expand them uh, like one by one. Alright, so you would have 2, this is the big bracket. Okay, so I'll expand my negative 2 into 5 first. So I'll have negative 10b, okay, plus 2a. Alright, then I'll have plus 6a minus away 9b. Alright, so this will eventually give me same thing. Combine your like terms. Okay, so now you take note over here. Alright, take over here. Now in front of your bracket, it's a positive sign. So do you need to change sign? No. Okay, so therefore... Once you combine the like terms, like terms meaning to say those with the B and Bs go together, those with the A's and A's will go together. Okay, so therefore you would have a negative 19B, alright, plus 8A, okay, and now then you expand the 2 inside. Okay, so you have a negative 38B plus 16A. So again, you see, can you see that there is actually a common, uh, common term? Okay, so actually if you don't expand, all you can see is that 2 will be a common factor, you just need to change it such that it is positive and then this is a negative like that okay yes that would be it